Hi, Happy New Year. This is the first video of the year for us. How was it for you? Well, <laughs> I can tell you, my New Year's was absolutely crazy. It was my, my first, new, my first uh, New Year's Eve with my kids on my own. And uh, we had a lot of fun. I mean, <laughs> I tell you, having two kids, twins, six years old, this is just beyond crazy what happened here. Uh, then I also hear from the other members of the team that, uh, that they, had a, they had a wild time. Alex, uh, Linda, Carla, Maribel with all the dogs in the house. I don't know. How was it for you? So, <laughs> first video of the year. And, uh, and this is the video of uh, New Year's resolutions. So, there we go. 10 things that I would like to happen during the year. First of all, most importantly, we need this channel to grow. Uh, without without uh, new people coming into the channel, without new people getting to know our rescues and getting involved, it's uh, gonna be a downhill struggle from now on. So I need your help. I need your help watching our videos right from the beginning to the end. I need you to click on the like. I need you to subscribe. I need you to comment. And I need you to forward our videos. That is organically the best way to grow. Now, the other thing that we're gonna do is in the coming months, probably two, three months, we're gonna move. We're gonna move from the, from the pink house, our rescue center, we're gonna, we're gonna move all the animals there to our other rescue center, the great house. We've been preparing the place for the last few months. Uh, we have new rooms available and the animals are gonna be much better there. So it's gonna be a slow process, but we are starting right now. Animals are gonna start moving from one place to the other. Then sometime this week, uh, I'm gonna tell you about Rocky. Rocky is, uh, is one of our rescues. He's a very special dog. He's a Yorkie that uh, arrived to us in horrible conditions and at the end was adopted by, by me. Well, he basically stayed here because nobody else wanted him. You see, Rocky is very special. Rocky bites. And I'm absolutely sure that if Rocky went to another house, it wouldn't have ended well. Well, Rocky also has serious health issues that I will tell you more about in coming days. So he's gonna be our first, our first new rescue. We're also gonna continue saving lives. Obviously, dogs and cats. I don't know why, but recently we're having we're having more dog cases than cat cases, but they are both equally important for us. The one thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna continue uh, rescuing animals in Bruno's condition. Remember Bruno? It happened this summer. He was, a, he was a used as a guard dog. He was chained to the floor. He had a miserable life, always alone, under the rain, the sun, until we found him. We just went there, looked at him, I mean, of course, we couldn't enter into private property because, okay, this dog belonged to somebody. But uh, what we did was to encourage him and invite him to leave the place on his own. And that's what we did. And uh, he left and we didn't do anything. He just, he just left. And he came with us and he's, uh, he's now having a wonderful life and he's awaiting to travel to New York, to the US as soon as possible. Uh, to his family, I want to tell them, please don't worry, he's on his way. I'm sorry about all the delays, coronavirus and my own personal circumstances. So, other things that I'm worried about for the year and things that are important for us. Um, as you know, this year I had a health scare. It was really bad. I ended up in hospital. In the hospital, they told me that I had a, a mass in the back of my brain. 17.7 uh, millimeters. For three days, I agonized uh, over these results. I didn't know what to do. I kind of like faced my own mortality. I had to think about my family, my kids, my girlfriend, my friends, the organization, what will happen if I'm not here anymore. Uh, then I was lucky. It turned out that it wasn't a tumor, it wasn't a mass, it was a, a, an image, a faulty image by the, by the CT scan. Still, uh, this worry remained there. I am aware that this organization is too relying on me. 
and I need to do something in order to, okay, what if something happened to me? What will happen to all of this? I need to have some kind of, uh, some kind of plan B for the organization. And that's something that I need to, I need to put some, some serious thought into it. Another thing that's going to happen this year is we're going to, we're going to build our own hospital. Now, I know those of you that follow us, you know, last year I made the same announcement and we were ready then. Unfortunately, we had a problem with the property that we were planning to rent uh, to open at the hospital and uh, that property became for sale and we just couldn't afford to buy it. So uh, for the moment, what we need is a place that we can rent. And so far, this property, we haven't found it. Now, we are always on the look for, for such a property and I'm sure that, uh, that this year we're gonna find it. It's important that our animals are, are taken care of in our own hospital. This, this will really help us uh, moving forward. So, very importantly, for the year, I need your help to continue saving lives. I need you to come in to join as a member, to join as a donor, to join as a Patreon. I need you to become involved in our work because without you, just, just nothing is possible. Nothing is possible. Um, this has been a, last year was a very challenging year and we're sure that this year is not gonna be any easier. Of course, lots of things are gonna depend on, on, the, on the global uh, context, on how the pandemic works and whether we can start traveling again or not. I don't know. We have big plans for the future. We have lots of dreams and uh, you are part of all those dreams. First video of the year. I don't want to make it too intense. I don't want to make it too long. Just a heads up. I'm dealing with a with a small hangover. But this year is not due to alcohol. This year is due to my kids screaming at me all day, wanting to play. So I'm gonna go back to the kids, and uh, and I really really wish you good luck for the year. Okay? We start again tomorrow. Take care and see you tomorrow.